another super special episode of City Beats. That's right, the heart is beating in Manchester in the Intu Trafford Centre, which is gorgeous. Today we are attending the third Asian Lifestyle Expo and it promises to be amazing. So fasten your seatbelts and let's go and find out what tonight is all about. <laughs> And now I'm joined by Sidra, who's going to tell all our viewers exactly why she is here today. Hi, I'm Sidra from Bombay Stores. Um, we've got our bridal wear and groom's wear collection on the catwalk. Uh, all our latest designs uh, from uh, India and Pakistan, uh, the designers who work there for us. And uh, we have been providing this uh, service since more than 50 years now. And um, yeah, we've been in the industry for since 1967, and uh, we are a multicultural departmental store. So it was a great opportunity for us to come here and bring this to just not only Asian community, but to everybody who's coming here to Trafford Centre. And um, how has your experience been with Asian Lifestyle Exporting? I mean, how would you sum it up in three words? It's been great. Um, uh, it's our third year now uh, exhibiting with the uh, Asian Lifestyle Expo and we're looking forward to a lot more years to come. So yeah, it's been a great experience. Thank well, you. thank you so much and wish you all the very best. Thank you. Thank you. बेचन दिल को करा दिलवर तुझे मिलने को Tell us a little bit about your business. Uh, what's what's it called? What's it about? जी हम एशियन ब्राइडल सारे बनाते हैं पाकिस्तानी और साथ में हम करते हैं लाइक डिजाइनर वेयर सारे करते हैं मेड टू मेयर जी और दूसरा हम six year we into business now. Alhamdulillah, and uh, we're doing good. And uh, here we are uh, doing from Asian Lifestyle Expo, and they, mashallah, very helpful here. And uh, the function is really brilliant, excellent. We're enjoying it. Yeah, Alhamdulillah. And आपके कोई favorite designer है? सारी सारी दुनिया में आपका favorite कौन सा है designer? हम almost सभी designer करते हैं. सभी डिजाइनर करते हैं सारे डिजाइनर हम मेड टू मेयर करते हैं और अपने ऑन डिजाइन भी हम बनाते हैं हां जी या अल्हम्दुलिल्लाह वेल थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू लेडीज थैंक यू And now I'm joined by this very lovely lady who's going to tell us all about how she is involved in today's event. Hiya, so we're Rung 48. Uh, we started off uh, as a small Asian business, Asian clothing business. Uh, do you want to know why we started off? So uh, basically we found that our Asian clothes were decreasing in the market now. A lot of our youngsters were falling into the more English styles and fashions. We were losing a lot of our culture, clothes-wise. We're only wearing them to parties and weddings, and that's about it, really. Um, whereas in our families, we wanted to bring our fashion, our culture, back in. So we decided to bring it in with a bit of a modern trend using our Pakistani fashion. And we have found that we actually achieved that because we have a lot of youngsters and elderly people coming in, including the English market, coming in to buying our kurtas, our clothes. And they absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. Um, I mean, it, it sounds amazing. And I know, like, 
as you started off as a three, we were talking a little bit off air, um, that you've managed to achieve exactly what you set off. So congratulations you, on that. Now, if you could experience, uh, if you could summarize your experience with uh, the Asian Lifestyle Expo in just three words, what would they be? Uh, it's very fun. Um, it's been organized very well. Um, it's one of the best forms of advertisement because they've got the media here. They've got a lot of Asian footfall. And this is just three words. <laughs> I mean, 20 words, 20 words here, but it's an, it's an amazing experience. It's well worth it. Brilliant. Well, thank you so much, and we wish you all the very best. Thank you. And let's uh, meet one of our other sponsors. If you could just introduce yourself to the camera. Yes, my name is Huma Ahmed and I'm from Royal Jewels and we're just showcasing our jewellery today. Um, we do a range of jewellery. Um, we do bespoke jewellery and customers come to us with all sorts of um, you know, requests and stuff. So we just make it in accordance to what they need. Um, so what um, determines your choice to be involved in something like the Asian Lifestyle Expo? We want to take a part of this. We're, we're initially, we're based in London and we wanted to be a part of something up north. Um, and we decided to come along to Manchester and just show our, showcase our things here. And what's the most bizarre jewelry request you've oh. ever had? <laughs> I mean, that's just a spontaneous question that's come out of my head, looking at the gorgeous jewelry. Um, we've, we get a lot of requests through, um, and we just basically go with whatever the customer wants, really. Colours, designs, whatever they want, we just make it whatever they want, really. And if you could summarise your experience uh, with Asian Lifestyle Expo in just three words, what would they be? Oh, they, they've been fab. They've been so helpful and friendly and really kind and really got us through this. So, yes, thank you to Asian Lifestyle Expo. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. And now we're joined by Sally, who's going to introduce herself. Hi, so I'm um, Sally from Gown Bridal. Um, myself and my mum own a little tiny boutique in Chorley in Lancashire and we specialise um, in ladies that have curves but equally ladies that don't and we make all our dresses bespoke so if you want a dress um, with a different sleeve maybe to a dress that you've seen we can do that for you and uh, we do bridesmaid dresses as well and we do mother of the bride and little flower girls so we're very very much about being able to cater for all sizes of brides and different styles. We were just talking a little bit off air earlier, and um, what, how did you, how do you find the um, your Asian customers? Are they quite specific? I know they're definitely fussy, um, and even uh, even um, the designs and everything. How do you go about all of that? So um, our, our ladies that come from a kind of a, a multicultural background want to still have an element of a traditional bride. So that's where we come in because obviously we're, um, myself and mum are not Asian. So we can give you that kind of Western feel. So girls that want to wear a sari then want to go all out on a big dress. That's great because we can then offer that option for them. And uh, we find that we work together as a design team, myself and my mum, to create the perfect dress. So and how has the response been so far in terms of language barriers and all of that? Not a problem. I mean, it's just myself and my mum, like I say, so we just do our best and uh, create everybody's dreams, really. And if you could sum up your experience with the Asian Lifestyle Expo in just three words, what would they be? I would say diverse, uh, fun and can't wait to do it again. There were more than three words. <laughs> That's absolutely fine. And I think it's brilliant what you're doing. Thank you very much, Sally. Thank you. Hi guys, we're still here in Manchester in the Into Trafford Centre celebrating the Asian Lifestyle Expo 2019. I'm sorry, but it's time for a very, very quick break, but we'll be back very soon. Uh -huh. 